Hi everyone, Aiden here at the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rhinorack Ski and Snowboard Carrier on top of our 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee L. And that's going to be a way of carrying your skis and snowboards between these two spring-loaded jaws. It's going to be probably my preferred way to carry stuff like this just because the alternative, a rooftop box, can get very large, very bulky, adds a lot of height to your roof, and they're typically much more expensive than this type of carrier. So if you're really just using it for your skis and snowboards, something like this is a nice option. You've got this thick rubber padding in between to hold your gear in place, protecting it, but also providing grip so it doesn't shift around. It is lockable, so you don't have to worry about people messing with it when you're not around. The only thing I would maybe say against it is that your stuff is exposed to the elements because it's not enclosed. That is a, a trade-off that I would make personally, but maybe for you, that's not the route you'd want to go. Now, this particular one isn't my favorite. There's a few things about it that's just not as easy to use. The first being the button to release those arms. While it does sit extended from the side so you can hit it with the palm of your hand, you do have to hit it with a bit of force to get it to actually open up. And it's just not as large as I'd maybe like it to be. Something like the Yakima Fresh Track has a very large oversized button that's easy to hit. So if you've got large gloves or mittens on, it's easier to do. And then with this, this is really more a thing to keep in mind for the Jeep Grand Cherokee L, being a taller vehicle, that as you get to those inner slots on the carrier, you're probably going to have to open up your door, climb up inside to reach the inner slots. So that's just really with taller vehicles in general. And especially if you go with the larger version of this carrier, it's going to just put your stuff closer to the middle of the roof rack, making it harder to reach. You could go with the Kuat Grip, that's an alternative carrier of this style, but it actually has bottom sliding trays that'll bring your gear out to you. But compared to this, it's a much more expensive option, so it's not gonna be for everyone. This one definitely is more entry level. Now, I did mention that there's a larger one. There's also a smaller one. This is kind of the in-between size, so you can kind of pick what's gonna work best for you. The usable space on this one between those jaws is going to be 20 inches so you can lay out your gear at home and if it fits within this 20 inch range you know it'll fit on this carrier you've got good clearance over the roof here and then from the top of the roof rack we're only adding about five and three quarters of an inch in height much better than something like a roof box there are more low profile ski and snowboard carriers but this one's really not bad Depending on your roof rack and how tall it sits off the roof, you are gonna have varying levels of roof clearance, but for the most part, you're gonna get somewhere in the neighborhood of seven and three quarters of an inch, maybe seven and a half, if you have something that's more low profile, or if it's not as low profile, maybe you get some more clearance. So something else to keep in mind. Now the clamps here are not tool free. They use bolts with a plate underneath the crossbar to attach or you can mount it in your T-Track. With those bolts, they do require a specially keyed Allen key, so no one can just walk up with any old key. You have to use the one that came with it or the Rhino Rack Roof Rack tool to use this. That does provide some additional security, but when installing it, it does extend the time needed to actually get it tightened down. Makes it just a little bit more annoying, and for me, I want it to be quick and easy to install so that when I'm done, I can just take it off and be done. And overall, I do think it's a pretty solid fit on the Grand Cherokee L. If you're looking for a good value option, this is definitely going to be that. Personally, I'd maybe go and look at the Yakima Fresh Track. Like I said, I just prefer that one a bit more. The tool-free install and the oversized buttons, I think, are a great addition over this one. But if you need the size options, the Rhino Rack Carrier has tons of different size options. You can really get it customized to fit your gear. Regardless of what you go with, though, I think it'll be a solid fit on the Grand Cherokee L. Thanks for watching.